This video is based on the metaheuristic search based design and metaheuristic testing functions. In this video, we will try to understand the search space that we used in the metaheuristic algorithms during optimization process and different testing functions that we can use for the comparison between different metaheuristic algorithms and we can analyze algorithm performance, stability, convergence speed, accuracy, efficiency and other. For example, you can see here in this video we used unimodal and multimodal test functions to compare particle swarm optimization algorithm with J optimization algorithm and here the comparison is done based on the algorithm computation time and the optimal value that is obtained for each test function. Right now you can see here we have different types of testing functions that we can use for the comparison. For example, we have composition functions, hybrid functions, fixed dimension test functions, multimodal and unimodal test functions. First we have unimodal test functions. Unimodal test functions are used to check algorithm convergence property and exploitation capability and the fitness curve in the unimodal test function is used to check the algorithm convergence speed. In this video we used only one unimodal test function that is F1. Right now you can see here we have different types of unimodal test functions that we can use for the testing purpose for F1 you can see the dimension dimension means the total number of design variables and bounds means the boundary that is the search space boundary and here for first test function dimension we have 30 and the bounds you can see the lower bound is minus 100 upper bound is 100 for second test function F2 dimension we have 30, boundary we have minus 10 and 10. For function F3 you can see the dimension is 30 and the bounds we have minus 100 and 100. For F5 you can see dimension is 30 and the boundary we have minus 30 and 30. And for F7 dimension we have 30 lower bound is minus 1.28 upper bound is 1.28 next we have multimodal test functions multimodal test functions are used to check algorithm global search and local search here you can see different types of multimodal test functions that we can use for the comparison and you can see the dimensions for each and you can see the bounds that is the boundary or you can see the search space boundary for F8 you can see the bounds lower bound is minus 500 upper bound is 500 and for F12 you can see the boundary here lower bound is minus 50 upper bound is 50 next we have fixed dimension multimodal test function here you can see we have different types of fixed dimension multimodal test functions we can use fixed dimension test functions to verify algorithm performance we can verify accuracy speed and algorithm stability here you can see we have different types of fixed dimension test functions. We can use fixed dimension test functions to solve constrained optimization problems. For example, we have welded beam design optimization problem where we have four design variables or you can say the four dimension. So here dimension is fixed. We cannot change and the bounds you can see here for the F13 minus 5 is the lower bound and 5 is the upper bound another example you can see here another example for fixed dimension test function we have speed reducer design optimization problem here we have seven design variables 
or you can say dimension is 7 and another example we have tension spring design optimization problem where we have three design variables or you can say dimension is 3 so in fixed dimension test function the dimension is fixed and you can see we have different types of fixed dimension test functions and you can see the boundaries for each or you can see the bounds and you can see we have the basic benchmark test functions now we will try to understand the search space search space in the metaheuristic play major role metaheuristic search is carried over the whole search space and search space is also known as decision space or state space or search area or you can say configuration space search space size represent the number of possibilities for the solution and in the search space boundary you can see for the search space boundary we have lower bound and upper bound and you can see here we can say any metaheuristic is successful when there is proper balance between exploration and exploitation phase fitness function guide the whole search process toward the global optimal solution in the search space for example you can see here suppose this is the search space and here we have 10 random solution in the search space you can see here for example you can see we have different types of population based metaheuristic optimization algorithm and you know the first step in the population based metaheuristic optimization algorithm is initialize population randomly in the search space so here suppose this is the population for the bats or wolf or jellyfish or ants so first we have the population for the agents in the search space that is randomly distributed you can see here this is the search space and we have 10 random solution in the search space now you can see we have the objective function now you can see we have the unimodal test function and for this test function you can see this is the search space and here you can see the bounds we have minus 100 and 100 minus 100 is the lower bound and 100 is the upper bound and you can see the search space for this objective function like that you can see for all metaheuristics first we will initialize the population for the agents in the search space and then the optimization process start where agents will update their position in the search space with respect to the best value or the best agent now you can see the search space for this function f8 here you can see the lower bound is minus 500 and upper bound is 500 so this is the search space for this test function and you can see the search space for f2 here boundary you can see lower bound is minus 10 upper bound is 10 so this is the search space for f2 and this is the search space for f7 here lower bound is minus 1.28 and upper bound is 1.28 and this is the search space for f7 next you can see the search space for f9 here the lower bound is minus 5.12 and the upper bound is 5.12 and this is the search space for f9 and this is the search space for f13 here lower bound is minus 5 and upper bound is 5 and you can see this is the search space for f13 and you can see the search space for f15 where lower bound is 0 and upper bound is 1 
and this is the search space for F17 you can see the lower bound we have minus 65.536 and upper bound that is 65.536 and this is the search space for F17 and this is the search space for F20 here lower bound is 0 and upper bound is 10 and this is the search space for F5 here lower bound is minus 30 you can see here upper bound is 30 so you can see here we have the search space for all functions that we already discussed here objective functions guide the whole search process toward the global solution now you can see we have different types of test functions their dimension and boundaries and we can use such functions for algorithm testing and we can compare algorithms using test functions and we can check the algorithm performance their stability accuracy efficiency and speed so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video